All right, what's up everyone? It's All Ball Gloves here. And today we are here at my dorm room desk to do a little review on this Nines Custom Glove. So Nines is a pretty new company. Um, I think they've been around for about a year or two. Uh, I believe at one point they also went by Custom Pro Gloves. Uh, they switched their, their name to Nines. And uh, so yeah, I ordered this a little while back. I've had it for I'd say about three weeks, maybe a month now. Uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that I used it, used it enough before I really did a review on it. Just to, you know, a lot of times you see reviews that are just right out of the box, and you know, how can you call that a review? So let's just go over a little bit. Uh, it might seem a little red in the video, but it's actually bright orange in person. Um, so it's bright orange, has a little bowl in there, it's 12 inches, uh, let's see, kind of like a modified basket web. I had this custom ordered, so obviously they also just have the traditional like basket web, you know, like the one you see with Rawlings. Um, but I saw this, I think on like a Louisville Slugger and maybe a, uh, like a Roland glove. And, you know, I thought it was pretty sick, so I wanted them to put that on there. Uh... You know, this little patch and kind of right through there. I don't know. I like the look of it a lot. Um, I think it, you know, I think it's a kind of new look to to an old school web. Um, but yeah, 12 inches. Um, no markings on the inside. So that's pretty cool because, you know, a lot of pro players don't have any markings in their gloves. Um, let's see what else. I didn't do too much custom wise, you know, I, he told me I could do anything I wanted, you know, just, he, you know, he can, he can do it all, man. And, uh, as a pitcher, I don't know, I kind of just went simple. Um, granted our team's colors have nothing to do with orange, we're blue and yellow, but I just love the color orange, so I got this. Um, have my embroidery right on the side there. Uh, my only, like, literally my only request are just all orange glove, yellow stitching. Because I think yellow and orange go really well together. Uh, this patch is really cool. It's a, I don't know what kind of material it is. It's almost like a super skin, kind of. But it's a patch, so I don't know, it's pretty cool. Um, so, let's see, what do I like about this glove? Uh, it was a really easy break-in. Uh, not, I mean, not easier than my shoeless Joe by any means. Here, this is a little... There, clean that up. Um, definitely not easier than my shoeless Joe. I mean, that broke in like a day. This took, you know, a little while, but, you know, I've had it for three weeks, maybe a month. Probably not even that. And it's pretty, you know, it's pretty there. Now, granted, I'm going two in the pink on this glove. Um, I've never gone two in the pink before. So this is all new to me. Um, I'll explain why I went two in the pink later. Uh, so that definitely contributes to how fast it broke in. For sure. Um, let's see. What are my favorite things about that? Well, my favorite thing about this. All right, let me finish on this, or let me. Yeah, let me talk about that later. So another thing that I like about this is the inside of this. It looks like this is gonna like, you know, mess with you. It looks like it's gonna stick out. But this is some really comfortable lining, man. It doesn't. It just feels like straight leather. You know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Kip myself. I think it's just too smooth. Um, and this is definitely a smooth leather, but it's not its not as smooth as Kip, which I like because it has a little bit more grip to it. Um, let's see what else. It definitely has that handmade look to it. I have a feeling that it was uh, handmade in Mexico. It looks a lot like a Roland or a Shoeless Joe. Um, you know, as you can see, here's my 44. A lot of, like, the, you know like Asian companies, they just have a different look to their gloves. Um, you know, we, like a lot of times we think of, of that as like quality. Um, and I don't think we should associate those two together because, uh, you know, this is a quality baseball glove right here. Um, let's see, this is the thumbs surprisingly stiff. I don't know what kind of insert is in here. There might not even be one it might just be really thick leather but it's definitely holding its shape um if i hold it like that you know i normally roll my baseball gloves so i flare the thumb out and just kind of roll the pinky in and uh 
Yeah, it looks really good, man. Like, it, I'm I'm pretty uh, happy with the shape. It's a deep pocket, super deep pocket. Now, granted, like I said, I am going two in the pink. But, um, yeah, even just traditional, it just feels super deep. Um, so, you know, if that's not your thing, maybe go with a smaller glove. I got a 12-inch. Uh, I normally use an 11 and a half, but this feels pretty good to me. Uh, my favorite thing about this glove is the the wrist... What's this called? Oh my god, I'm blinking. Um, lining? You know what I'm talking about. Rawlings normally has a fur there. Wilson normally has like the uh, Drylex. And this is kind of like a Drylex. It's not, but the thing is, I like this a little bit more than Drylex, to be honest. Um, I should explain. So, I really like Rawlings fur. Um, while I, th I think it's harder to maintain, I just like the feel of it better. Um, that being said, I, I feel like this is a lot better than Wilson's Drylex because it doesn't... Wilson's Drylex feels really stiff to me. You know, it kind of is abrasive against your hand in the in the summer, personally. Um, but this does, this feels like there's a little like foam pad in there. It doesn't feel nearly as stiff or firm as a, as a Wilson one is. Uh, so yeah, I really like that about it. Um... All in all, I mean, this is a quality ball glove, man. I've, like I said, I've used it, uh, thrown a bunch of pens with it. I haven't used it live or anything yet, um, but yeah, I've, you know, I've done some fielding practice with it. It's really, yeah, it's coming along really nicely. Uh, my only, my only negative that I have about this, um, this is not at all on nines. This is purely on me. Um, is that the wrist opening is pretty big, uh, as you can see there, which I'm I'm pretty sure I need to confirm this. I'm pretty sure you can ask to get that tightened up, uh, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. And to clarify, I also have very small hands. I have or not small. I don't have small hands. I have like like a slender wrist, right? Like the DP15, like that size fits me perfectly. So even just regulation, like this. This 44, like, it's too big on my hand, really. Um, and this is the same way. So I decided to just combat that with just going two in the pink. This being said, you know, I'm sure if you need the wrist tightened, they can do that. Um, so it's not necessarily a complaint at all with, like, the glove. It's definitely just something I wish I would have thought of. Um, but, yeah, overall, it's really nice leather, man. Um... don't know what else to say about it uh yeah it feels real nice it feels uh it feels real buttery you know it's like i don't know how to explain it you know some some of it is just kind of rough to the touch which isn't necessarily